Greetings. We are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. Everybody knows what DNA is. Deoxyribonucleic acid. The building blocks of life. Every living thing, every living cell, from plants to animals, has DNA. But DNA can also be an acronym for, death nail of a biogenesis. D-N-A, death, nail, of a biogenesis. A biogenesis is the unfounded atheistic fairy tale, that life on Earth, created itself, from non-living chemicals. And trust me, calling a biogenesis a fairy tale, is being generous. But before you can have full-blown life, you must have its DNA. The DNA is the master molecule, that programs the entire structure of every living entity. So if a biogenesis is blatantly impossible, how do the atheist scientists defend the doctrine? Amazingly, they don't. Oh they'll ramble on about the chemical structure of DNA, but you never hear them explain its inception. That's because its complexity defies explanation. Watch closely if you can find someone foolish enough to attempt to explain it. Take note that they always use animation in their presentation. If a biogenesis was real science, they would simply film the process. So why are they forced to resort to animation? Because a biogenesis is conjecture, not science, and you cannot film conjecture. We have known about DNA, since the late 1800s. But it wasn't until the latter half of the 20th century, that we realized that the nucleotides, the rungs of the ladder, contained a numeric code of information. So was this new revelation, a win for evolution, or creation. The only way that you could chalk this up in the win column for Darwinian evolution, would be if you could explain its natural origin. But its utter complexity puts it beyond the scope of self-realization. We are not just talking about the design and construction of the DNA protein molecule, which in itself is beyond comprehension, but we are focusing in on the information contained in its digital code. Microsoft's Bill Gates once said, that DNA is just like the digital code, that you would find in any software program, but far more complex than anything ever designed by man. Anytime we find literal coded information, there is always a mind behind the information, a code writer. But what came first, the chicken or the egg? You need DNA to program the cell, but you need the cell, to develop the DNA. And all of this was supposed to have come from non-living chemicals? Give me a break. How gullible do you think we are? If the Earth was nothing more than a ball of lava at some point, then how did life form, all by itself, from a rock? So the discovery of DNA, and its insanely complex digital code, ends up as a win in the creation category. And there it shall remain. And why is that? Because the natural self-inception of DNA, is impossible. The day you can explain, how wind and erosion formed Mount Rushmore, will be the day you can score DNA, as a win for Darwinian evolution. That's why DNA, is the death nail, of a biogenesis. And keep in mind, so far we have only discussed the issue of DNA. We haven't even begun to include the entire picture of life. From here we must also include the organs, the muscles, the skeletal structure, the cardiovascular system, the immune system, as well as the brain. The list goes on and on. Therefore, a biogenesis is not science, it's science fiction. But the government shoves their science fiction, their religion of atheism, down the throats of our precious children every day, in the government-controlled and government-mandated, public school indoctrination system. Science is supposed to be observable, repeatable, and verifiable. But a biogenesis has never been observed, repeated, or verified. It's time to call a biogenesis what it is. Atheistic propaganda. Nothing more. Nothing less. So rise up my friend, and take back your freedom. The freedom to believe the real science of creation. And the freedom to teach truth, to our children. Peace be unto you and your house. Reject the lies and propaganda of naturalism. It's time to expose DNA, as the death nail, of a biogenesis. But if a biogenesis falls, so does atheism. Therefore, DNA is ultimately, the death nail, of atheism. Good riddance.